my national involvement once I moved to Manchester was to be part of the sexual orientation equality group, which um, was set up after a General Assembly resolution and produced a work pack on being a, a welcoming congregation to LBTQ plus people. Um, we had an interesting time. We were, I think, three men, three women, three gay, three straight, something like that. Um, and um, we had quite a, a difficult time in some ways. One of the things we had hoped to do was to do a, a questionnaire. Um, and at a rather late stage, this was um, disappro disapproved of by um, the General Assembly officers. Um, with hi hindsight, I think they're probably right that it would have been too difficult to administer. I remember even Keith Gilly thought that it was not the right thing to do. And he had been a great supporter of lesbian and gay matters. Um, but we did produce, I think, quite a useful guide and workbook for the congregations. And we went round offering workshops with one gay person, one straight person. And I remember Philip, Linda Phillips and I did one. Um, and we'd taken part in the service earlier in the day, and I had lit a candle for my daughter because it was her birthday, I think. And then when we came to do the, the workshop, um, it was evident at some stage in the questioning that people had assumed that I was the straight one because I had a daughter and Linda was lesbian, which is not the case, but it was very interesting how you know, people couldn't tell. And I guess as you know, the first person who was the woman who was obviously out as a lesbian and proud of it, it I felt I had a ministry just being who I was. <laughs> 